Hello students, this is Aisha, your computer teacher. Hope you all are well and studying well with the help of online pro platform being provided to you by the school. Today we'll study the first chapter of your computer book which is Computer Hardware. Children, as you all have studied in your previous class that computer is an electronic device which helps in processing data. Now how does the computer process the data? It processes the data with the help of various other devices which are attached to it. It takes input, processes the data and gives it out in form of information. In this process, computer takes help of various other devices attached to it. Those devices through which we can feed data in the computer system are called as input devices. The devices that displays the information are called the output device and the devices that process the data are called the processing devices. To in today's video, we will focus on the input devices. As discussed earlier, input devices accepts instruction and data from the user and sends it to the CPU. There are various input devices. Some of them are the keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, OMR, light pen, microphone, etc. We will read about all these input devices one by one. Now, let us first dis discuss about the keyboard. Children, as you see in this figure, there is a display of a keyboard. A keyboard is a common input device. It is mostly used to type the text and information with the help of keys. The keyboard consists of various types of keys. Some keys are alphabetic, some are numeric, some are alphanumeric and some are special characters. Now here the keys you see are alphabetic because they contain alphabets printed on them. Here you will find that the keys have number on them so they are called numeric keys. Some keys will have special characters for example the ampersand sign, the hashtag, the dollar sign, the percentage sign, the ampersand sign, these are called the special characters. There are some function keys also which are used for specific functions in various applications. Children, Depending upon the position or placement of the keys, the layout of the keyboard comes in various styles such as the QWERTY keyboard, KWERTZ keyboard, AZERTY and DVORAK keyboard. The figure here represents the key WERTY keyboards. It is named so 
because the initial alphabets in this keyboards are Q, W, E, R, T, Y. In India, we use the Ki, W, E, R, T, Y keyboard. But some European countries use the Q, W, E, R, T, Z keyboard depending upon their needs. Now let us learn about, about the mouse. Mouse. A mouse is a very common example of an input device. It is a very common thing to be seen along with a computer. It can be held in a hand and it is used on a flat surface. It is used to point various icons on the computer screen. A mouse generally contains two buttons and a scrolling wheel on the top. By pressing the buttons, we indicate various things on the computer screen and various instructions are given to the computer. Now let us talk about the joystick. Children, have you enjoyed playing video games? Yes, of course. Every child likes to play video game. So, a joystick is a very common feature or a very common thing that is used along with a video game. Just like a mouse, a joystick is also a pointing device used to function as similar to a mouse but there with certain difference that the mouse pointer steps, stops moving on the screen as soon as the user stops moving the mouse. But this is not the case with the joystick. To stop the joystick movement, we, you have to move the joystick upright or in the desired position. Now come to scanner. A scanner is a device that scans a document by sending the reflection that is received when the scanner emits rays on the contents. Now before going into detail, children, have you seen a, a photograph? A photograph on a paper being loaded into a digital format. By digital format, I mean that suppose a photograph has to be loaded in your computer system, then you will need a scanner. What does the scanner do then? It takes the image of the contents and convert it into a digital file. The scanned image or photo can be stored in computer and can be easily transferred to the secondary storage device or better known as the hard disk. Scanners can be categorized in handheld scanners and Flatbed scanners. See, this is the handheld scanner and this is the photograph of a flatbed scanner. Now, we'll read about the optical mark reader or OMR. Children, you must be aware of the that the examinations nowadays 
most of the competitive competitive examinations the examinee has to mark the answers with the help of round circles on an o omr sheet now how does it work the omr is an input device which can detect these marks on the paper it is used to evaluate answer sheets in which selected answer is marked in dark circles or boxes it is used to read the given or marked answers by sending the marks made on the answer sheet now another device is optical character reader now what happens with the omr is that this input device can only read the marked circles or marked figure but it is unable to read or recognize different shapes this limitation of omr is overcome by optical character reader now then what is it optical character reader is a device which not only detects the mark but also recognizes the shapes and identity identify the characters directly from the source document now so in omr only the shapes were being recognized but in optical character reader the characters are also being recognized now another input device is magnetic ink character reader now what is this mag magnetic ink character reader children have you ever ever seen the check book of your parents there are some special characters written on it with a special black ink have you ever thought what kind of ink is it now to read this special ink a device is needed that is magnetic ink character reader micr is a device which is used by banks for processing of checks by interpreting information stored in the micr code on the checks the code or the code of the name of the brand, bank branch code and check number are printed with a special kind of ink containing magnetic particles or iron oxide which is scanned read and identi identify with the help of mic micr and transaction is done accordingly so basically an micr device is used to read the magnetic ink used for various purposes now another type